The Tacoma Fire Department's been around since 1880. Uh, we became a department of the city of Tacoma in 1884 when the city of Tacoma uh, incorporated. Currently, we provide service to uh, the city of Tacoma, but also to adjacent communities, the city of Fircrest and also Fire District 10, which includes the city of Fife. Uh, although we're a very traditional department, one of our traditions has been innovation. We were one of the first departments uh, to adopt large diameter hose decades ago. Uh, so that's part of how we look at our role is to keep looking for things, keep looking for best practices to move the fire service forward. So the Tacoma Fire Department has the lead role for emergency management in the city. Uh, so we uh, are not only responsible for emergency response or disaster response, uh, but also for emergency preparedness. So we ensure that not only is city government prepared for disaster, but also that citizens within the community are prepared as well. We use some of the traditional methods of just getting out into the community. We do it through neighborhood council meetings and through general public education. Uh, but some of the more innovative ways that we've been using it is, is uh, taking advantage of other opportunities for education. So for instance, uh, we host annually a what we call CPR Sunday, which is a free community CPR training program. We get about a thousand people each year for that. And at that event, we also staff a booth where we're able to provide people with education on emergency preparedness. Another example is we received a grant to install smoke alarms uh, for free in the community. Uh, and when we did that, we also used that as an opportunity to get into people's homes and provide them with additional education on emergency preparedness. So we're working with the University of Washington Tacoma, two different departments, the Department of Computer Engineering and also the Department of Urban Studies, specifically the uh, GIS technology um, program. With both of those, there's an overarching theme of safety. One really with community safety, safety of our citizens and businesses, and the other with firefighter safety. But the way we look at it, there's a lot of overlap between firefighter safety and citizen safety. One of the outcomes of what we're working on with University of Washington Tacoma is a mobile app for citizens to use to help them get better prepared for disasters. The goal of the application is to help with home preparedness. It's kind of like a home treasure hunt or a cognitive walkthrough. So the user will be in invited to identify the location of a gas shutoff valve um, because uh, gas leaks are often occur after an earthquake. Um, they can also identify where they have a home preparedness kit with um, ingredients such as food, water, flashlight, so it'll also have a checklist application. Additionally, they can decide if they want to share this information with community members, with their friends, with the fire department. It's up to them whether they would like to share the information with others or keep it within the family. The Tacoma Fire Department is working with the University of Washington Tacoma on developing technology, adapting new technology to be able to track firefighters, their location in real time when they're inside of a building. So if there is an emergency, if they need to get out or they need to be rescued, we'll be able to know exactly where they are in the building. Or if they have a victim they need help bringing out, we'll be able to get to them much faster than we would have otherwise. So at the University of Washington Tacoma, we've been uh, researching uh, what's called, commonly referred to as the IoT, or Internet of Things. And so really cyber physical systems and how we integrate those systems into our world so we can understand the world around us. And with the, the City of Tacoma Fire Department, they had a really interesting use case of, of understanding where firefighters are located within buildings, as well as the environmental conditions that they're facing while they're battling a blaze. So our goal is really to integrate these devices into the fire teams, be able to get that information back to the incident commander, so the incident commander knows a lot more information about what's happening on the ground. In addition, we've been integrating a, a, a lot of what's called commonly referred to as machine learning. We're making machines smart um, by integrating analytics in, into those uh, that data stream uh, capability. And so, we've been uh, what that allows us to do is not just. Uh, understand what the measured data is, but actually infer other information um, using that data about what's going on at the fire, what's going on at the scene, what's, where is everybody located, and be able to potentially track and, 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 and find people when they get lost. I think that we have a huge advantage in having a university right in town. Uh, and not only a university, but a university with a technology program. Um, and so we really have been intentional about taking advantage of those opportunities. And so not only are we, are we utilizing the university in our uh, emergency medical program, but definitely in the way that we respond in every way. So we have um, uh, technology being looked at in our turnout gear. Uh, we're, we're looking at uh, technology and how we can see a uh, 24, or rather a 360 degree view of our incidents. And so um, it's definitely something that we are trying to take advantage of. And I think that fire departments are, would be really well to do to be considering this. 
So ultimately, it's about improving safety of citizens and also safety of firefighters, both with the Urban Studies program, the GIS program, and the app they're working on, and all the other things that they're bringing to us, such as uh, emerging trends with volunteer geographical information. And then on the other hand, the computer engineering program bringing technology, really interesting technology to bear on fire service challenges. Well, it's, it's pretty exciting. I mean, the, the most, ex in the, from the technology perspective, we, 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 we develop all kinds of cool things, but what's really, really interesting is to actually be able to deploy those things that, that solve real problems. And so that's the real heart of it for us, right? Is there the real, the real value of us is we're able to you know, address this real use case and, uh, and potentially give them information about, that they don't have now. Um, I see this as an ongoing collaboration. Um, this is a really unique opportunity to uh, experiment with these new technologies to portray local knowledge, to convey it to the responders. We're really at the cusp of a new evolution in, in the fire service, being able to bring technology further in, into the role of firefighters in their, their daily work and making sure when they're in hazardous uh, situations that we do everything possible to make sure that they, they come out and, and they're able to go home at the end of their shift. So the fire service across the nation is being challenged by um, the community in terms of its relevance to the community. And, uh, it's really important, I think, today for fire departments to be considering uh, where we should be, not only currently, but also what we should be doing in the next 5, 10, or even 20 years. And the Tacoma Fire Department really takes pride in trying to do that every day.